I made a new solid wood workbench top recently and in this video I'm going to make some extended vice jaws for my vice. These old Sapili jaws I fitted about three years ago now and they served me well but as my workbench top is now much thicker I really had two options. I could either mount the vice higher up by adjusting the frame of the table or make some extended vice jaws and that's the option I'm going to take here although later in the video I'll talk about the advantages and disadvantages of doing this. I've got some small offcuts of 25mm birch ply that I'm going to use as it's pretty durable and hard wearing and it's consistently flat and stable. But really even cheaper plywood or solid wood will do the job nicely, it just may not last as long. I need three bits the same size, the exact measurements really don't matter too much, but I do want the top of the jaws to be flush with the workbench top. Rather than measuring up for where the holes are, I find it easier to make a template on some masking tape and then I can transfer that over to the jaw to get the exact location and I just need to measure the height from the bottom and I'm using a shim just to offset it from the bars a little. And I also found the center of the jaw and the template too between the two holes so that I can get everything even and symmetrical. The good thing about masking tape here is that it's transparent so I can line it up with my pencil marks. And a brad point bit locates in the hole left by the awl and then I run the drill backwards just to score for a cleaner cut and then I can go through forwards which should leave a nice clean hole with no tear out. Not that it really matters on a workbench vise but still. The same applies for this spade bit, backwards first to score and then forward to drill out to create space for the head of the bolts. And then to secure it I've got that small shim underneath again just to position it. I want these other two bits to be aligned so I get them positioned and then draw around the front plate of the vise and I'll cut that area out using the bandsaw. I want this front piece to be flush with the front of the vise, so I get it carefully positioned and then measure the offset from the other side, which looks to be around 9mm. I'm going to get these two pieces laminated together and then use a 9mm scrap of MDF glued in place just as a spacer to give me that offset. And then it fits really nicely, so I'm going to drill all the way through. Recess some holes again for the inside of the jaw for the bolt heads and get it bolted in place. And I'm using bolts here rather than screws just to make it nice and sturdy. I'm easing over the sharp edges and then I can use a hand plane to take the top of the jaws down flush with the workbench top. For finish I'm doing two coats of hard wax oil, same as I used for the workbench top, which should be nice and durable and easy to top up and repair in future too. I'm not quite finished yet though as I also have this record metal working vise that I use occasionally and using the offcuts from the jaws I'm going to make a little base for it which is pretty simple, just an L shaped platform that the vise gets bolted onto. I'm going to get some feet added to the bottom just to support the weight of the vise on the bench and to space it away from the nuts that I added. And then when I want to use this I can just pop it in the woodworking vise and clamp it in place. Right, time for some brutal honesty now. I'm not totally convinced that what I've done here is going to be a great solution, so let me explain why. Extending the jaws in this direction is a really good idea because it's going to give you extra purchase for longer lengths of timber. Extending the height of the jaws though might not be such a great idea and this only really occurred to me while I was already halfway through the project but rather than give up on it I thought I may as well finish it and see how it goes over time. I'm confident that this back jaw will be absolutely fine because it's fully supported from behind where the edge of the workbench is. With the front jaw though a potential problem is that you've only got two bolts holding the jaw in place 
And so if I'm clamping something quite small at the top of the jaws, these bolts will act almost as a pivot point. So if you clamp down really hard regularly, it's going to put a lot of strain on where the head of the bolts hold the plywood to the front of the vise, and it's probably going to get worn down over time and eventually break. At the moment, it works absolutely fine, and for most applications, I don't need to apply loads of force to get hold anyway. And also this 25 millimeter birch ply is really strong and rigid and the bolts do a really good job at holding it nice and rigid too. So it might be fine for many years. I really don't know for sure until I give it lots of use. I thought about not posting this video for those reasons, but then I realized that this might still be of value to anyone doing a similar project. So here it is. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos if you'd like to help support the channel, plus get early access to my videos, exclusive content, free project plans and cut lists, and a name credit at the end of my videos. You'll find links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership in the description box below. Thanks for watching.